Now, an aid in your side investigation, shattering a stalemate. A year after performing open heart surgery on this veteran, the VA can't decide if he has heart disease or not. He served in the U.S. Army and fought for his country in Vietnam, which means exposure to Agent Orange. For this U.S. Army veteran, this is about as crazy as it can get. Our senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews found out at the VA the left hand doesn't seem to know what the right hand is doing. You know, big agency, $182 billion agency, but when you're dealing with the health and well-being of our veterans, you can't afford to be wrong. And in this case, until we got it involved, the VA got it wrong. In 1970, Rich Kincaid was in the Army. He was shipped to Vietnam. Rich was a medic assigned to an anti-aircraft duster unit, which provided perimeter defense for field artillery and fire bases. Military personnel in Vietnam are presumed to have been exposed to the toxic herbicide Agent Orange. Heart disease is linked to that exposure. In late 2007, I flunked a fire department physical because I had heart disease. So in 2010, Rich filed a claim with the VA for a service-connected disability. His file shows the VA examiner stated he had coronary artery disease. The VA wanted more tests, but never scheduled them. In August 2011, Rich sent a letter asking when the tests would be scheduled. And, of course, they did not respond at all to that. So you didn't get a yes, you didn't get a didn't no. Get a no, just got no answer. A few months later, the VA rejected his claim, stating you do not have a diagnosis of heart disease. It was by some bureaucrat based upon uh, apparently a, an opinion of a doctor that I have never met. Rich appealed the denial. Last year, VA doctors performed open heart surgery on Rich. He had advanced heart disease. The claim that I do not have heart disease seems to be wrong. <laughs> More than a year later, the VA still hadn't decided if Rich had heart disease, even though it operated on him for it. Rich contacted Eight on Your Side. I reached out to his congressman and the VA at Bay Pines and told him this is one of the craziest VA stories I'd ever heard. They both promised to look into it. Within a week, the VA determined Rich does, in fact, have heart disease. Now, according to Rich, the VA is now claiming that severe multi-vessel cardiovascular disease that he suffered came on suddenly in April of 2015, even though the evidence shows he was diagnosed back in 2010. You know, if this wasn't so serious, it would be laughable, the ridiculous nature of all of yeah, this. And right. how does this affect his disability claim? Well, it means that his disability claim will only be retroactive until 2015, when it should actually be retroactive to, to 2010, 2010, because it appears that the VA, VA seems to be ignoring the diagnosis made by its own doctor back in 2010. I mean, how ridiculous is this? For sure. Thanks, Thank you, Steve. Steve. Sure. Yeah.